This is a huge season for the rebuild of the Montreal Canadiens here, and there are so many different moving pieces that we're going to be watching to make sure that the development is on track. Top of the list is Uri Slavkovsky, and honestly, I felt really bad for him last week when Logan Cooley went out and scored that incredible goal for Arizona and Australia. Everybody was saying, see, we should have taken Logan Cooley first overall instead of the bust that is Uri Slavkovsky. And I've been preaching a little bit of patience here, like the kid hasn't even played half of a full season in the NHL yet because of injuries. Let's wait a little bit before calling him Nail Yakupov. So I was really happy to see him score a goal last night. For a big body like that, those are the types of goals he needs to score. He needs to impose his will, show his strength and his size, and use it to his advantage. That's exactly what he did. He also had another pretty slick chance that honestly reminded me of Connor McDavid. And he just looks so much more comfortable out there, which is exactly what you've been praying for on La Rue Sainte-Catherine if you're a Montreal Canadiens fan. Kirby Doc also looked great and looks like he's ready to take a step in his development, which is music to your ears as Habs fans because he's looked at to be either the second line center of the future or a top six right winger and not a flash in the pan like Rene Bork no 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 they're looking for him to be consistent and things are looking up in that way and finally after being shut down for a large portion of the season with injuries Cole Caulfield and Sean Monaghan both looked great healthy and back to being themselves yesterday so Habs fans breathe take a huge sigh of relief because that is incredible news for this team I mean I don't think people realize how risky finicky and even scary sometimes shoulder injuries can be for goal scorers who need to rely on fast hard snapshots so the fact that Cole is back to looking like himself and that his shot seems to have no lingering effects is awesome news and Sean Monaghan the dude is basically robotic at this point with the amount of injuries he's had so to see him healthy be able to play again I honestly thought his career was over when they shut him down for last season I, I truly did and it was so sad I thought he was gonna have to be in PTO territory for this preseason so the fact that he got another guaranteed deal he's back looking good cross our fingers that he can stay healthy that could be a great piece to mentor the young Habs he already is like best friends with Cole Caulfield and a bunch of guys on the team so he can keep mentoring those guys and then hey if Sean Monaghan plays the way that I think he can and that Flames fans and Habs fans even saw last year that could fetch you a first round pick I'm telling you so all in all I know it's just preseason but Habs fans can breathe a sigh of relief with all of that information. Trust me, that is stuff that you want to see gearing up for the season. There's a reason they play the games, right? I mean, I know they don't mean anything on the scoreboard, but it's four reasons like what I just mentioned. Awesome signs for the Montreal Canadiens. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.